need for this is you're gonna need hard boiled eggs. We're gonna need shaving cream, not and shaving gel, shaving cream, right? Cause shaving gel will not work. No. And don't forget to pick out two of your favorite colors and mix them up on the shaving cream. Exactly, choose your assortment of colors today. We're gonna try the primary colors first. And then later we have some gel colors that we're gonna try to see the difference on the effect of the egg. And then also you're gonna need an area to um, either paper towels or cardboard for the eggs once you're done with the shaving cream to let them set and dry. And you're also gonna need some type of a pan or dish so you can put the shaving cream in it. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna pick up green and blue. So first what you're gonna need to do is spray, is spray the pan with shaving you cream. You spray first and I spray. Okay, I'll spray this half and you spray that half. You wanna make sure you're getting it about one to two inches thick so that way you have a lot of room for the egg to roll in the shaving cream and it's not gonna be scratching the bottom or hitting the bottom. So we'll go ahead and Okay, so first you're gonna go ahead and spray your pan with shaving cream. Like we said, you wanna do it about one to two inches thick, so that way you can have a lot of area for you to roll the egg and it's not gonna be scratching the body or bottom or messing up the design. And next what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your hand and you're gonna kinda smooth it so it's all about one layer. Good job, Brecken, thanks for the help. Okay, and now for the fun part, go ahead and pick out the colors that you would like to have on your design. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put a little droplets, a few droplets in just one area. And Brecken wants to do blue and green. All right, so now that Brecken has went ahead and spread out the colors that he's chosen for his egg design, we also wanted to mention that you do need to have a skewer or a toothpick so that way you can just spread out your design to kind of give the egg the marbled effect. So what you're going to do is you're going to just go back and forth and you're gonna kind of give it that marbled design and spread out the color and this is what's gonna leave the design on the hard boiled egg. And also the white kind of gives all that food coloring even more color in there. So you're seeing now some teal. Yeah. Getting a little bit of a lighter green in areas. Yeah. Very pretty. Go ahead and put your skewers down. And we are going, thank you Brecken, and go ahead and grab your egg and I'll show them how to do it here first if that's okay. And you're just gonna put the egg right there and then you're gonna turn it over. Just make sure you roll it there, just like that. Give it the design and texture that you want to give it. What's the green planet? Neptune. So Brecken wanted to try to make the planet. So this one looks a little bit like Neptune. Okay, and there's our first one. So we're done. We're gonna go ahead and set that right over here. And our next egg is gonna be yellow and red. Get our design. Does it kind of look like the sun? I think it does. I think this one looks really cool. This looks like the sun. Super awesome. Dad, we're making the sun. Looks like fire. Yeah. Or ketchup and mustard. <laughs> okay, now let's go ahead and drop the egg in there. Do you want to do it this way? And just roll it. Keep it on the top of all the shaving cream. You don't want to roll it too hard. Mm -hmm. It's very soft. And there's the sun. There you go. And here is the sun. We're going to name this one the sun. Okay, so now Brecken wants to try red and blue. So let's give this a try. I'm go ahead and squirt that on there. And we'll do blue. And you just keep repeating the process over and over again and just You'll, every time you'll come up with a new design or a new color scheme. And let's get our skewers, mix it up first. Wow, this one looks like the 4th of July, red and blue and white. <laughs> As you can see, it turns out really pretty. And in the end, it just makes really awesome designs on the eggs. And it's just a fun, different way for them to do eggs, to dye eggs. Okay, ready? Here we go. Go ahead and drop it in there and we're gonna roll it. Roll it so carefully. Yep. 
You can see your design on the egg. Do you know why I did this? Why? Because it's the 4th of July. Oh, this is our 4th of July egg. Okay, I like that. Okay. 4th of July planet. Oh yeah? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Brecken's showing you a trick for how to get your, all of your fingers out on your glove. Good job, bud. I got two gloves like mom. And now we're gonna go ahead and grab our colored gels. These ones are just a little bit brighter, so we're gonna see the difference on the eggs. And when you're all done with your eggs, you're gonna let them sit and dry for 20 to 25 minutes. And now we're gonna go ahead and wait 20 to 25 minutes to let our eggs dry and the color set on the eggs. So we'll meet you guys back here in 25 minutes. We're back with our Heaster Side Spamming. For this part, you're gonna need lots and lots and lots of paper towels. I recommend um, going to the dollar store and getting a lot of paper towels because you use a lot with this. So here we go. Let's grab some paper towels. Which egg do you wanna see first? I wanna do the rainbow egg. Okay, let's check out the rainbow egg. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and just put the egg in there. You're not going to want to smear it and rub it. You just want to pat it. Wow, Reckon. Whoa. That is totally awesome. Look at how cool that turned out. Let's show them. So you can just see all that color in there. I wonder wow. what this one's going to be like. Let's do the blue one next. That is so cool. Yes. All right, so then we're going to go ahead and grab another one. Which one do you see next? Let's do the blue one. <gasps> I bet this one's gonna be totally cool. Next blue one, it's called Neptune. Okay, All right, which one do you wanna do next? The orange one, okay. What are you gonna name the orange one? The sun. Okay, we're gonna name this one the sun. You're gonna go ahead and just keep repeating that process. Patting them down and then putting them on your paper towel or your cardboard. If you wanna put them back in the cardboard box, that's what we'll be doing here after we're done. This one's super cool. Oh goodness. I'll show them this one. What are you gonna name this one? I don't know. There's a green one. I'm gonna name that one Alien Earth. You're gonna name this Alien. This is our alien egg, so you can see that this alien. This is the egg. Alien Earth. Alien Earth egg. Yeah, you can see the really amazing effect that that look kind of gives it. Mm -hmm. Something that you can't get when you just stick it in a bucket of dye, that's for sure. So for all our viewers, the gel food color turned out really good. All right, and there you have it. Those are our Galaxy Easter eggs. They turned out awesome. I'm really impressed with the outcome. What do you think of them? Brecken kind of wanted to do a galaxy theme, so we have a lot of the planets. We tried to incorporate their colors as well. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below, and we will try to get back to you as soon as we can. And when we wake up in the morning, we are actually going to do a skill experiment, which is really fun. Yes, so he is correct. Tomorrow him and his dad are going to be doing the Skittle experiment, which is going to be really exciting, so stay tuned for that. Um, and we just want to tell you guys thank you very much for watching the videos, and um, we hope you guys are having fun doing these crafts with your parents' at home as well. And we hope that you guys have a truly happy Easter um, from our home to yours. <laughs> happy Easter! Have some fun! And there's candy on Easter! Please go to my channel! Happy Easter! And don't forget to comment down below. Absolutely. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.